This is uh, called sound and sentience. Let's move 32nd part. Miles Davis comes into this one. And Archie Shepp, Marion Brown and Archie Shepp. Scales what once have been, scales what would once have been skin, feathers what would once have been cloth. There that claiming heaven raised hell, fraught sublimity, exits evermore to come. A drum's head it was we walked on, beats parsed out by ghost feet, proto ghost feet our feet had become. It was a dream of beaten earth, beaten air, beaked extravagance, birds we'd eventually be. Albeit feeling took flight's place, flight familiarities run, movement found our feet what once had been wood. We stood as one, stung wood's revival. Pinocchio was on the box. Puppet run, strung wood, stump trumpet, bugled admonition, spun. It wasn't squirrel we wandered into, circling wind we considered moot, a way we had of running in place. Phantom limbs they were we ran on, ghost feet that they were. Nubs that had once been feet lost their numbness, feeling it was, made us run. It was feelings return we ran with, irredentist earth beneath our feet felt good. Irredentist earth fell away from our feet as we kept running, ran from day one long before day one, proto-ghost entourage. Leg anthem, the music intimated. Spooks it now was on the box. We were anything but there, though not elsewhere. Ithmically elect, but loosed even so. Earth, a dream of drums, come true. It wasn't puppets we were, Strings tied to what had been wood, notwithstanding, wasn't we were wood anymore. Runaway earth abrupt cut from under. Ricochet and reach rival names we knew it by. Blinked and before we got there were gone. Proto ghosthood, its own haunt. So that run it seemed it was we came to next. A place had it been a place made of whisk, born away what see, blur. Blent vista such that splinters reared up and walked, went remitless, endless reconnoiter, endless vex, revisitation, endless hoist and hoofbeat, limbed on high. Comings and going not gotten over, death not gotten over, goings away glimpsed again had us gone without going, on to the heard about city, sounded out. In this book, these two series, uh, Mu and Song of the Andumbulu, um, are intertwined and they, uh, they sort of become twins, um, occult understudies to one another, uh, as I say in the preface. And um, they touch on some of the same things. This is uh, from Song of the Andumbulu. This is number 55. And it's called Orphic Fragment. It's got a subtitle. Orphic as in um, Black Orpheus. Carnival morning, they were Greeks in Brazil, Africans in Greek disguise. Said of herself, she was born in a house in heaven. He said he was born in the house next door. They were in hell. In Brazil, they were love bait. To abide by hearing was what love was. To love was to hear without looking. Sound was the beloved's mummy cloth. All to say, said the exegete, love in hell was a voice to be spoken to from behind, not be able to turn and look. It wasn't Greece where they were, nor was it Benin. Carnival morning in made up hell Bodies bathed in loquat light, would be songs all the more would be title, sound and cerement, voice wound in bandages, raveling laps. Up all night slept well past noon, 
awoke restless, having dreamt she awoke on Lone Coast, wondering afterwards what it came to, glimpsed in Terstis, crevice, crack. Saw her dead mother and brother pull up in a car, her brother at the wheel, not having driven while alive, newly taught by death, it appeared. A fancy car, bigger than any her mother had had while alive, she too better off, it appeared. A wishful read, it appeared notwithstanding, the exegete impossibly benign. Dreamt a dream of dream's end, anxious, unannounced, Arunel's nevermore namesake, Monk's anagrammatic Lenore. That the dead return in luxury cars made us weep, pathetic its ten elegance, pitiable, sweet read misread, would be sweet. Over the years, um, these series, especially Song of the Andumbulu, um, have become more and more concerned with transit, kind of uh, fugitive aspect uh, and impulse or spirit and movement, uh, locality's discontent is the phrase I use in, in the preface to the book. And um, this next one, Song of the Andumbulu 56, um, gets, gets more deeply into that. Um, very much touched by um, uh, Alcharinga, Australian Aboriginal dream time, uh, wandering. At long last we came to the Dread Lakes region, graduating body and bone. It wasn't we so much as web we were, buh, the implied increment, zealous, web, no zuh no buzz. Got there at long last through a maze of cities, quaint faces arrayed on balconies along the way. Matted hair dotted the ground as we strode in, the earth itself quick with feeling, sentient, felt it rub, rub the soles of our feet. It was a march we were on, a campaign, carnival trek translated of late and of late what before had been ruse become real. It was a float we were on, it appeared, a layer of light between the ground and the soles of our feet. It wasn't we were prey, buzzing fly, flying fish. Wasn't we were inside a Nancy's web, a Nuncius net. Web it was we were. It wasn't we were caught. It wasn't we were webs. We were web. Invisible lips blew ripples on the water. Vatic breath blown wordless, the exegete's bequest, endlessly expended wind. The lake's faces fraught with import, splay auspices day begun. Day wet with allegorical water, re-begun, endlessly repeated, dreamt amendments end, lakes looking back at us, it seemed. Faces we'd seen in cities we saw again, watery, all but undone. It wasn't Babylon where this was, nor its outskirts, dread faces, captive kin, furrowed lakes where before they'd been featureless, blank but for the exegete's bequest. Fraught or without furrows, fret lakes either way, dread lakes all the same. Dread lakes lay southeast of everywhere, endlessly down and to the right. The farther they receded, the deeper we were there, apart from where we otherwise were. Got there in trucks or simply walked it. Got there in trucks or simply walked. It wasn't clear. Dread lakes had it that way. Dread lakes, lakes in name only, rife with names. Names, unthinkable dearth. Fret lakes, dearth lakes, dare lakes like bone, bone lakes, alibis. Lakes rubbed raw by strong voices, parched earth what before had been mud. Mud what before had been water, dread lakes fiery dry. It was a furnace we were in, dotted bodies eventually blent. Dread lakes evaporative, largesse. Blent we partly were, web it was we were, 
Blint was Webb's distant kin. The waterless lakes they turned out to be turned us back. Turned away, we turned inward, buoyed against our will. Better to have sunk, we thought. Thought we thought, we admitted, abstract Baptists, glad to be dry, undumped. An adamant canvas, it turned out, we were on, polychromatic powders, dust. Dotted bodies begun to be other than bodies, half again themselves, not themselves. Kissed, otherwise moistureless, caressed, hands and fingers finding their way. It wasn't grope what we did, we decrypted. it. Bulge and declivity were code. Desert love, Bedouin strand at lake's edge, into it before we knew where. Signs all around, how to read them none of us knew. It wasn't we were lost, we lost track, absorbed as we were. Recondite recess, crevice, fold. Immersed in what wasn't there, desiccant slough, what was. Toward and away, we're now one. Code, even so, siphoning substance. Dread lakes alias, cave wall inside out. Dotted bodies bespoke imminent elsewhere. Half again, all but already gone. Why we became web was no conundrum. Why buh wasn't buzz, no zuh. Pelvic hollow it was, we now called it. Come upon his drift, dry run. Dried up if so much as looked at, dream time equation of body and lake, down under, lay intangibly above. We stood on the lake's bed, what was left of it, wished for a new beginnings, no beginning, the new world we expected, up in smoke. Again gave thought to the he and she we saw embrace, etched on Dumbulwa's forms we saw in the dirt, thought we saw, Rorschach-wise. Moved among landmarks whose names were legion, rocked the spotted lizard past wind on, fallen tree where the president spat, ledge where the bramble tore pant legs come to at last, color clung to our feet, drift, aboriginal forage, abject endlessness, abstract arrest. Color claimed our feet, drawn out exit, dreamt amenity, endlessly cathectic trek. What would accrue to color kept us afoot. Paints and pastels lay in our way. We the painted ones ran, feet wet, canvas rent, blue rabbits we might have been. Namesake hair was what shrubs and brush were, the lake's eponymous locks. Dread lakes was the name it all went by, lake floor baked by unremitting sun, low scrub and brush were brown. Scrub what was covered the ground and what we did, endlessly abraded earth rayed out around us, endlessly scratched at sky. Hedge the judge's pay lay hid behind, lay to our left. With it creaked, the wounded bird left a feather in, loomed up ahead. A sonorous canvas it became as we advanced. Blown reeds accosted us with wind raising dust. Grit got into our nostrils, eyes, and throats. An ill wind in the dead of August. Blown reeds laid us out on a cooling board. It wasn't we were dead or that the world was. It wasn't we had it wasn't we bid anything goodbye. It was the all in all otherwise known as Webb, and it relaxed us. Grit was Webb's alias, Webb in scrub disguise, scrubs at a mystic reach. We made up ground in a made up landscape, no less real for that. Wind on us hard as it, wind on us hard as it was, we ran even faster. Stride was our true country, native ground. Abstract canvas, earth tones notwithstanding. Color clung to our feet. Caved alias, pelvic alcove, under, intangibly above. Knotted highness lay on the ground in clumps we tripped over. Lakes and canals come to in dream time, 
intricate fingers braiding love's true locks. Dread lakes it was, nonetheless, dredge lakes where it under lay visibly above, dram drawn lakes it was, dread lakes all the more even so. Dread lakes was where we were, where we'd been, where we'd be. Dread was the color claimed our feet. Might have been saffron or something like henna, red, brown, yellow, brown, spiked earth at the soles of our feet, heels and the balls of our feet, pestling light. A worked awkwardness ran us over. We don't care popped out of our mouths. Stomp got our feet, ran up our legs, trunks, necks, put a big foot up the sides of our skulls. Anticlimactic, we called it, disconsolate. Paint put on us by the way we came through, scrubs, parametric net. A step short of web's edge, nothingness, more than could be come to, caught. It wasn't as we'd said, wasn't we were free, wasn't as we'd said about buzzing fly, flying fish, wasn't we were wingless, webs it was we were. And I will, uh, there's a little chaser to that called Dread Lakes Aperture, which is in the Moose series. A wash of sentiment flooded frame, ground, figure. The wall between given and gone grew thin, the dead surviving death in a swirl of wind. Children of the night was on the box. Wayne's nasal cry nudged us on. We were them, their lapsed expectancy, gun barrel nuzzling the backs of our necks. These children, we said with a sigh. Sat on grass eating something called poppin, sprung from an acoustic mirror, suppositious canvas, prepossessing light. An Elysian scene out of childhood almost, except the children sipped beer, bourbon, wine. Spoke with mouths full, mouths wide open. We saw poppin' inside as they spoke. Chuck E. Jesus they talked about going to, that or having gone, unclear which. Rude crew in whose childish guise our departed kin could again come back. These children were come again elders. The elders were children again. These children were drunk, dredged eldren. Drain Lake's namesake brew the beer they drank. Drowned elegiac youth. Light's bloom lay in disrepair, wounded, lest it be called indulgent, earth prove overly lush. Sipped beer, bourbon, wine, spoke with bubbles in their throats. Blew bubbles when they smoked, instead of smoke. A meeting, it seemed, albeit angular, diffuse, a rogue's way with aspect, flecked. A synesthetic dance they could taste, called it poppin', hop invading tooth, tongue, jaw. A great gift, it seemed, Bubble talk ascending as it did even so. Brass rallied abject reed. Dawn's colors came on without warning. Children of the night, though they and we were. Light's bloom was back or it was we were lightheaded. Lit heads loose in a dream of light. On a lit canvas, what could have been us, blown away, was Andumbuluus we, Andumbuluus they, wasn't Andumbuluus both. What to say, there was a was, there was a wasn't. The vehicle we boarded held both, blew up. What to say, there was an us, there was a them. The beginnings of light, this was to say, abated. Weakening glow begun to be said goodbye to, flecked air falling through by motes. I squint, it went to say, went awry. These children, we said, sucking our teeth. Newly come, albeit chronic elders, reached out, drew back less than what was reached with. Nub it now was, we came to. Tokens fell from the sky. 
Nub was where we were, where we'd been, where we'd be. Chronic, no less newly come. The book is divided into three sections, uh, braid, fray, and nub. And that poem ends the second section, fray. And there's a short, short section at, at the end called nub. And uh, let me end with one poem from, from that section. The, the one that opens that section, there are three poems in it. Song of the Andumbulu 58. The intractable two no longer among us. He, her ecstatic exegete, wishing the world away. Nose between her legs as in a book. Comes up for air. She straddles his lap. A stiff bouquet opens their noses. Not that it would ever not be there. Not that even so it would be the same. Animal grace fallen down or away from. All for naught if not amended. Made of its own remit. A lit screen showed it was us rubbed away. Dread Lake's namesake brew drank our fill. Poppin fell from the sky. Oddly fed, feasted on grief. Debris bumped our heads, rubble hurt our feet. Fingerless, if not without hands, drew back from reaching. Nub the new kingdom come. Remnant light lay weakening light's retreat. Children said to be of the night no longer children such what we'd have otherwise been. Somewhere someone chanted, an echo we looped and re-looped. Dub it was as much as it was nub we were in. Ersat's eternity looped ad infinitum, loop given reverb to. Echoes flew close to the earth, bleak reconnaissance. Tape ran away in reverse, took us with it, beginning to be alive, it seemed. We whose two demanded a longer count, long since Riven, I was only what was left. She, his unimpressed interpreter, I thought, bone as well as body, looked at, leafed, eyes lit like ember, book of no turning back. Back seemed all there was, alive begun to appear to be ember, interregnum, death roll exception, proof. Terrain like no other, nubscape, flags filled up the sky. Two loomed incalculable, aggregate regress. Nub's raw republic absconded what we thought. Nub, short for Nubia, we thought, thought we thought. There no more the where we'd have been. Such that one, being what was left, blew up. And I, before that, a blind lemon, blue lemon, teardrop adjournment, salt. So that everything it took, took wing. Newly adduced or indifferent, no one to say which well-paved outskirts of nudge notwithstanding, nub's new landing point. Armless one lay in wait, moot warrior, crouched behind a bush put upon by wind, misgiving, doubt. There that we'd have otherwise been, blue summit, state stand only as we'd allow. Lover's dub covered lover's republic, something obscene it seemed, was on the box. Crawled on our stomachs, elbows to dirt. The inchworm was on the box. The box filled with water, dry rot. Worm roots, voices ran through. Wrung water from a sawed off branch, coaxed omen, hollowed out tree trunk, thumped. So much easier said, so much of what we said. Rhythm log wasted by ant wing, worm jaw, balafon bridge undone. Scrounged around among bushes and tree roots, went to rise, but our heads held us down. We were Andumbulu, bloated heads atop shrunken bodies. The song said to be ours are repeating heads, vamp till ready, torn heads mended, spin. Shrunken bodies, bloated heads, we were Andumbulu. Bodies more head than husk were song body. Torn heads compromise. Rummaged around on all fours to bug accompaniment. What we wanted, we couldn't have. 
multiple the names it went by, legion, wars over which one fit broke out, nation of none though we were. Not yet nation of nub that we were, said to have been born with barbs in our skin, anesthetic nation of nub. Said to have been born in beds made of glass, bed be our balafon bridge, we exhorted, bed be our rhythm log. Glass meant broken, slivers where we lay, ithmic digestion held even so, shards bone deep it meant. Bridge meant see-through, sailless, something we'd assume so elliptical it seemed. Unsay said it best. Unsay said what there was of it to say. Nub's low skyline lay to our left. Nub lay close to the earth. Nub cut us off. We were never all there. Raw knuckles pounding the dirt bled rivers. Blood run carried us away. Scrounged around on what earth was left, the intransigent few Nub stubbed its toe on. All of earth was what earth was left, so few we were, back at some beginning, it seemed. It was morning, gray morning, pearl divers chanting in the gulf beside the bed, clock dial phosphorescent, lit. The lovers lay again without recoil, world without war, without end, intimated, dream they'd awaken from. In a ship's hold, helpless, hair the look of thicket, ship of state they'd call it, crushed. But for now, before that, sleep of ages, again as if starting from scratch. Asleep yet on the tips of their tongues kept asking, salt not known to call itself salty, what to say. What of us wouldn't carry caught on the bank of the river? Lit spear brandished on the bank of the river. Lit spear hoisted, flung. Locked and braided Eldrin sang without sound, sang without voice with what blood laid claim to. Blood was a paper thin slick atop water. Water ran where voices would have been. Blood spoke in tongues from the far side of tongues. Bed be none of the above, blood admonished. Unsay's day, if not begun, soon come. Thank you.